What is up, YouTube family? It's been a minute. Between work, a little surgery, family stuff, you know how it all goes. Well, we're back in Ocean City. We're going to take a peek at the beach and see what we can find and uh, hopefully record some targets, maybe find some gold or silver, but let's catch you on the next hole. All right, let's go. There we go. Driving into Ocean City. Maybe head down to 12th Street today. Let's see what we got. And we'll let you know if you find anything. All right, super windy out here. I'm just filming, I'm gonna get to that. First target is a dime, modern dime. Got some black sand out here, so let's keep at it. All right, second target is a quarter. There it is. Pretty sure it's junk jewelry, but it's pretty nice. Sort of beachy themed. Looks like that plated stuff, but we'll check it out when we get home. But pretty cool. Alright everybody, we're still out here. Wind is still whipping, it's getting a little dark. Got a little uh I think it's just a junker charm. Probably not 925 or nothing, but uh, hey jewelry's better than nothing. Alright, let's keep going. Still whipping out here. Um, something interesting. <laughs> it could be junk, but let's take a look together. Bring up a seven on the knock. Seven is usually the gold range. It looks gold, but it's pretty lightweight. I don't know if it's like a piece of an earring or a piece of a jewelry. It doesn't look like it's off of anything from fishing, but uh, I don't know, maybe we can test it when we get home or something. Let's keep going. All right, y'all. I dug a deep uh, iron signal on a whim that had like a little bit of a squeak to it but unfortunately it's just a junk earring. But had me going for a second, but I knew it was too good to be true with that iron grunt. All right, let's get at it. What a beautiful night out here. Uh, got another weird signal. Let's check it out. I think it's a pair of Oakleys. I don't know how long they've been down there though. It's like a little O on the side. A uh, little, I'm just gonna focus on that or not, let's see. I don't think it's going to focus, but yeah, it says something uh, on the side. I'll have to check it out when I get home. All right, it's really dark out here. You already can see this. it got some pretty cool looking pen in it. Check that out. It's got a flag on it. The other side says United we stand. This was a Zinkin uh, signal, so always dig those Zinkin signals. Pretty cool little uh, pendant, got a little weight to it too. Alright, let's try to keep going. Alright y'all, we are back at it. Possibly a gold ring. Uh, it doesn't appear to be marked, but it's got some weight and it's very intricate, no corrosion, so let's look at it. Gotta be some kind of gold. There's some kind of little tiny mark in there. I don't know what it is though, but I mean, that's beautiful. Let's uh let's keep going. Check it out. It's random. I really thought it was like a gold Still out here in the dark plugging along. Gotta use the light on my uh detector to actually look at stuff. Got another little pendant thing. It's probably junk jewelry, but I swore I saw a mark on it at the top, but it's got that little junk look to it. But it does have a little bit of weight. So we will check it out when we get home. I'm hoping for at least a sterling one. Let's keep going. Good evening everybody. Here is the wrap up. So let's go over the stuff and I'll flip it around. Here we go. There's everything. 
not not a bunch of targets tonight, but more high quality than usual in Ocean City, Maryland. Got some clad that had been there a while. We got some quarters, some dimes, regular uh, copper pennies, a couple of zincs, junk earring. Funny enough, I got a 1985 half dollar, which is the year I was born. Obviously, that's a fresh drop because, I mean, that doesn't even look like it's been rolling around at all. I don't know how we got it on the beach, but hey, I'll take it. As far as jewelry goes, pretty sure this wire thing on the bottom is uh, from some kind of fishing thing or brass. I don't know. I thought it was jewelry, but I think I'm mistaken on that. Got a little um, anchor pendant. Uh, does not seem to be precious. You can see at the top where it's been uh, not corroding, but I guess peeling or whatever. Uh, also have a little junk pendant star thing or whatever. But the two best things from the evening were this beautiful United We Stand pendant, which says 999 Fine Silver on it. It's also marked on the top. Let's flip it over. And it's got a little enameled uh, flag on it as well. But the whole the whole thing is uh, sterling. Well, the other side is a uh, 999 or whatever it is, a little pendant. Uh, most likely done after 9-11 is like a commemorative thing. So that's pretty awesome. Especially because it's September. 9-11 was not that far ago. Or not that long ago. Um, one of the coolest finds of the night, or I guess say the best find, would be what I believe is a gold ring. Let's look in there and see. There's some kind of mark in there, but it is very hard to see. The ring's got some weight. I mean, it's beautiful. Looks like gold to me, feels like gold. Well, we can throw it on the little scale here in a minute. Let's take a peek. 3.8 grams. Of either probably 14k or maybe 18k if I'm lucky. I can get it tested at the jeweler. I don't have a testing kit here. But yeah, 3.8 grams. Almost looks similar to the other one I got a couple weeks ago, like Indian or Thai origin. Look, it definitely looks foreign. It'll be all the, the filigree on it and everything, but it's beautiful. So there we go. There's everything. And we'll catch you on the next hunt. Please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Almost forgot this pair of Oakleys I found today. I mean, a little bit scratched, but decent condition. Um, they go for like 130 bucks online. I might probably keep these for myself. But yeah, I mean, not bad. Polarized and all. All right, catch you on the next time.